Hello friends through this video we will learn the details about hydroelectric power plant in systematic manner. If you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel. Introduction In hydroelectric power station potential and kinetic energy of stored water is converted into electric energy. For hydro power station factors like rainfall, steam flow available head and storage facilities are studied. 25% of electricity generation capacity in world is provided by Heidel power plant. In the countries like Norway 99% electricity is produced by Heidel power plant. 4% of the total Heidel energy potential in world is in India. In India 25.32% of total electricity generation capacity is produced by Heidel power plant. As per records of March 2023,816 MW electricity was generated by Heidel power plant. It is increasing day by day because of the institutes like National Hydro Power Corporation Limited, NHPCL. Purposes of Multipurpose Hydro Project For Irrigation of Agricultural Land For Navigation For Fisheries and Tourism For Flood Control For Civil Water Supply For Generation of Electricity Basic Elements of Heidel Power Plant Reservoir Dam Trace Rack For Bay Surge Tank Penstock Spillway Turbine Powerhouse Classification of Heidel Power Plant 1. According to availability of water A. Run of river plant without pondage B. Run off river plant with pondage C. Storage plant D. Pump storage plant 2. According to head A low head plant b medium head plant c high head plant 3 according to load a base load plant b peak load plant 4 according to plant capacity a micro hydel plant up to 5 mw b medium capacity plant 5 to 100 mw C. High capacity plant, 100 MW. D. Super plant, above 100 MW. 5. According to place of powerhouse. A. Surface powerhouse plant. B. Underground powerhouse plant. 6. According to turbine specific speed. A. High specific speed plant. B medium specific speed plant c low specific speed plant water turbines used in heidel power plant pelton turbine francis turbine kaplan turbine advantages of heidel power plant one this plant is free from pollution 2. Its operation and maintenance cost is less. 3. It has no standby losses. 4. Unit cost of power is less. 5. Hydraulic turbines can be started speedily. 6. The plant has longer service life. 7. No fuel is required. 8. No change in efficiency with the age. Disadvantages of Heidel Power Plant 1. Initial cost of dam and plant is high. 2. The availability of power from it is not much reliable. 3. Loss of forest creates environmental problems. 4. Due to evaporation, considerable water is lost. 5. Time required for construction of hydro project is more. Auxiliaries attached with Heidel power plant.
let's see few of the International Heidel Power Plant Dam. Arch Dam Monticello Dam impounds Puda Creek west of Sacramento, California. The solid concrete structure stands 93 m, 304 feet, tall. The dam's arched upstream face transfers some of the pressure from its reservoir, Lake Berryessa, onto the walls of the canyon. Kariba Arch Dam The Kariba Dam lies along the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. The facility controls flooding and supplies hydroelectric power to both countries. A public road traces the rim of the dam, between Reservoir Lake Kariba and the drop to the Zambezi River. The distinct arch shape distributes pressure evenly on the overall structure of the dam. GNP Corrigan slash Robert Harding Picture Library Hoover Dam The Hoover Dam is an arch gravity dam on the Colorado River. Its reservoir, Lake Mead, lies between the states of Arizona and Nevada. As an arch gravity dam, it depends on its shape and its own weight for stability. Lake Mead Lake Mead, a vast artificial lake, straddles the border between Arizona and Nevada. The lake was formed by the construction of the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. During wet periods, it stores excess water until it is needed. Lake Mead has also become a popular area for boating and other recreational activities. Buttress dams fall into two basic categories. Flat slab and Multiple arch. Flat slab buttress dams have a flat upstream face. These dams are sometimes called Amberson dams in recognition of Nils Amberson, the Norwegian born American engineer who popularized them in the early 20th century. An example of a flat slab buttress dam is the Stony Gorge Dam, which crosses Stony Creek near Orland, California. It stands 42 m. 139 feet, tall, stretches 264 m, 868 feet, long, and contains 33,000 cubic meters, 43,100 cubic yards, of concrete. Flat Slab Buttress Dam Lake Tahoe Dam impounds the Truckee River in Northern California. Like all flat slab buttress dams, it has a flat slab upstream face supported by a series of buttresses on the downstream side. Lake Tahoe Dam measures 5.5 m, 18 feet, tall and 33 m, 109 feet, long. It was completed in 1913 to raise the water level in Lake Tahoe, a natural lake, to provide additional water for crop irrigation. One multiple arch buttress dams feature an upstream face formed by a series of arches. Two the arches rest on top of buttresses that extend down to the foundation. Three Bartlett Dam, on the Verde River near Phoenix, Arizona, is a multiple arch dam. For it stands 94 m, 309 feet, high, stretches 244 m, 800 feet, long and contains nearly 140,000 cubic meters, 182,000 cubic yards, of concrete. Multiple Arch Dam Bartlett Dam impounds the Verde River northeast of Phoenix, Arizona. Like all multiple arch dams, Bartlett Dam makes use of a series of arches supported by buttresses to withstand the pressure of the water in its reservoir, Bartlett Lake. Each of the dam's 10 concrete arches has a 7 m, 24 feet, radius and measures 2 m, 7 feet, at the base and just 0.6 m, 2 feet, at the crest. The thick base provides additional strength at the bottom of the reservoir, where the water pressure is most intense. Concrete Gravity Dam Shasta Dam impounds the Sacramento River in Northern California. Like all concrete gravity dams, Shasta Dam holds back the water in its reservoir, Shasta Lake, by the sheer force of its weight. Built of solid concrete, the massive structure rises 183 m, 602 feet. 
it measures 165 m, 542 feet, at the base and just 9 m, 30 feet, at the crest. This shape, typical of concrete gravity dams, counteracts the force of the water pressing against the dam at the bottom of the reservoir, where the pressure is most intense. Grand Dixon's Dam With a height of 285 m, 935 feet, the Grand Dixon's Dam in the Swiss Alps is one of the tallest dams in the world. Water power generates the majority of Switzerland's domestic electricity and is the nation's most important natural resource. Raul Leone Hydroelectric Plant, Venezuela Located on the Caroni River in Venezuela the Raul Leone Hydroelectric Plant provides electricity for the entire country. The plant was built on the site of a village called Guri and is named for a Venezuelan president who served from 1964 to 1968. Thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel.